It's time for Ready Craft time. Okay. Um. So here we have Bugga, and all of his piranha teeth because he has every freaking tooth. I would have the dog that has every freaking tooth, and it's just a big dog. Um. So. We're going to demonstrate how we take dental radiographs. So you can do it one of two ways. Either have their head sternal, if you're taking like uh, the upper jaw, and make sure that the plate, the tip of the teeth is on top of the plate, and you take the tip of your thumb, and you're going to measure the root. So your hand will look like this. And that's where you're going to put this. So, how I have that. Me, Stop moving your head, please. So I have my thumb here. The root's going to be somewhere over here. So this is where I'm putting my gauge. What is this root? This is of his specifically his 108. So, then whenever you're taking radiographs, everybody must walk away six feet from it. So we are going back to take the picture. And of course it does that. So in that case, turn it off and turn it back on. You got your life together now? where the plate is so I got too much white space but I do have the roots so the roots was on the plate you can so this is by the book how I do it just to save time is using knowing that whatever this is on this is what like whatever this is behind the beam is gonna catch it so like if your tooth is here the beam is gonna catch the full tooth because you have it so show you my cheat sheet because I have it. So we have the plate in like that. Yep. We do our finger. It's here. Dog's head's lateral. We take our picture of bam. Like that. Don't move it too much. If you move it too much, um, then there's a potential of you being out of um, frame. Once you've taken your hands off it, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay, so as you see, based off, we got more of the tooth. Granted, he has a giant 108, so I can't get it in all frame, but there is also his nine as well in that picture. Um, so then we're going to move on to do his front, um, and there's the same premise um, as far as smaller dogs cats are super easy because you can take multiple there's multiple teeth that you can fit on that plate so theoretically you can take three pictures at the top and three pictures at the bottom and just lay the plate across um unfortunately with big dogs it doesn't work that way uh, because they have giant roots that go like all the way up here um as i will show you with his canine so we're gonna put the tip on there make sure it is in so if you can't get the plate to stay theoretically not theoretically you shouldn't hold it granted i do some weird shit um have gauze there to hold the plate in place so that way and then again we're going to take our fingers so go to the tip the roots somewhere up in here. So then we're gonna take our beam and we're gonna go wha-bam, like that. And then we're gonna take our hands off of it and not touch it, cause the more we move it, the more we mess it up. And then we're gonna go click. And then, there we go. So I had too much white space, so I just need to move the beam up so the plate was actually further this way so if you have too much black space then um the beam is not on it 
if you have too much white space, um, then, no, it's the other way. So the beam itself is not on the plate. It's not touching the plate. If you have too much black space, then the plate's not where it needs to be. So knowing those two things, then you can like troubleshoot. Um, I will show you how I take their front canines. So theoretically on the cat, this is gonna work perfectly. Cause you just sit the teeth. Ghost, can you not with your head, bro? Not today. Um, you just sit the teeth on there. Can I have something that like, here. Sweet. You want their head sternal. And you shoot at the newt. At the big old newt, brother. Um, and then I'll lift up his, so his canine is on there. It should get that root. So let's play and let's get that. Honestly, it's about playing and knowing that if you have too much white space, what you can do versus what do you have do whenever you have too much black space. So see how my plate was positioned there? So I got the tips of the incisors, but I didn't actually get, or the roots of the incisor, but I didn't get the tips. That's because the plate's not on it. So whatever the plate's on, that's what it's gonna take. As long as the beam is facing the plate, that's whatever it's gonna take. If it's not on there, so that's part of the root of the canine, and that's part of the root of the canine. So, and like I said, like big dogs have extremely long. So to take the root, tip, turn it, just flip it, because they are literally so far into his face. So. Whenever we do this, let's take a picture and see. Do do do. Nope, I got most of his nasal, so I went too far. But there's, that's his nasal, so I got just the tip. So this is what I mean about black space. So I have, the beam wasn't on it. need to do more like that. His his roots aren't so long. But whenever we do this, I will defrost a cat and then we can practice. Which cats are easier? Builds up your confidence. There we go. Again, the nasal structure, but there's the tip. And that's his nose. <laughs> So that'll move to the front. Make sure the tips are on there. Just like that. Get it. B. And then we're gonna shoot at a nose. Radiographs on the um, dummies are super easy because there's no ET tube in the way, there's no tongue, but see where the plate was? It got all of the incisors and the tips. So technically by this picture and that picture, we're done. Um, and then you click here to label where they are.